Okay, so now we're going to work on how do we find the least common multiple between two numbers. And we're going to use this when we need to change denominators and fractions to a common denominator. Now, what's the least common multiple? Well, that's a number. That's, that would be the smallest number that both of your original numbers divide into. So, for example, we've got 12 and 16. So we're looking for a number that 12 divides evenly into, that 16 also divides into, and we want to try to keep our number small, so we want to go for the smallest possible one that we can find. And there's a technique to do this. Now it involves, the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to um, factor each of these two numbers, 12 and 16, into their primes. That's called prime factorization. Okay, and you may have done this before using a little factor tree. So that's going to be step number one. Okay. So we look at what goes into 12. Well, we know 2 times 6 is 12. 2 is a prime number, but 6 is not. So we're going to go uh, divide 6 further into 2 times 3. Now, um, I'm assuming that you know what a prime number is, but if you don't, a prime number is a number that divides only by itself and 1. So numbers like 2, 3, now 4 is not prime because 4 is, you can write that as 4 times 1, but you can also write it as 2 times 2. So that makes that 4 not a prime, and actually every even number bigger than 2 is not prime. So we're only going to look at odd numbers now. 5 is prime because you can only factor 5 times 1. 7 is prime because you can factor only that as 7 times 1. But 9 is not, because 9 can be factored as 3 times 3. So these are called prime numbers, as you, as you may know, and just a little review. So here with the 12, we ended up with um, two 2's and a 3. I'm going to circle the ends of these, these branches of these trees. So we have 12. I'm going to write the 12 here as 2 squared. So that's two 2's times a 3. Okay, we're going to do the same process with the 16. So 16 is 2 times 8. 8 is 2 times 4. And then 4 is 2 times 2. So this time we have 4 twos. So 16 is 2 to the 4th. And I'm going to line up these two numbers so that the factors, the, the 2's are under each other, and then see how 12 has a 3, but 16 does not. So we do not have a 3 and 16, so we just, I'm going to put a little, like, empty spot there for the 16. And how we build our least common multiple is we look, for example, here at the 12 has a 2 squared, and the 16 has a 2 to the 4th. We're going to use the bigger of those two, which is 2 to the 4th. Okay? So that came from here. Let's see. Let's highlight that. So this is our bigger of the 2, of the all the 2s. 2 to the 4th, having 4 2's is bigger than having 2 2's. So we're going to use the biggest. And then 3, 12 has a 3, so we're going to need to use 3 as part of our common denominator, or our least common multiple. Okay, so we're building a common, common multiple by lining up the common factors and then taking the biggest representative from each column. And so from the 2's, it's the 2 to the 4th, and from the 3's, is this 3 to the 1st up here, right? So this is our least common multiple, and we just need to figure out what that number is. And that's 2 to the 4th was 16, so 16 times 3. So 16 times 3 is 48. So 48 is our least common multiple. That's the smallest number that 12 divides into, right? Because how many times does 12 goes into 48? 48 divided by 12 is 4, and 48 divided by 16 is 3. So 12 and 16 both divide evenly into 48, and 48 is the smallest such number that they both will divide evenly into. Okay, that's called the least common multiple. All right, let's look at a, um, number 2, which has 84 and 90. So I'm going to set up my prime factorization. Let's see, 84, um, 2 goes into 84. 42 times, and then 2 goes into 42, 21 times, and then 3 goes into 21 times 7. 
So here's our prime factorization for 84. Let's write it up. We have two twos, one three, and one seven. That's 84. Okay, now we're going to do 90. So 2 goes into 90, 45, 2 times 45. 5 goes into 45 times 9, right? 5 times 9 is 45. And then 9 is 3 times 3. So here are our prime factors. And so 90, we have 1, 2, 2, 3's. Oh, we have a 5. Do you see how we have that 5? And 84 does not have a 5. So I'm going to move this 7 over. I'm going to put a bubble here. Okay. And then I'm going to put this 5 here. And then, of course, 90 does not have a 7. So notice how I just line up the 2's in a column, the 3's in a column, the 5's in a column, and the 7's in a column. And if a number doesn't have a particular factor, like 84 doesn't have a 5, then I put a big like empty spot or a bubble here. And 90 doesn't have a 7, so I put another bubble there. Okay? And now we're going to look at these. Um, this will be our least common denominator, our least common multiple. Take the biggest of each factor. So 2, we have 2 to the first and 2 squares, so 2 squares bigger. 3, we have a 3 square down here. We have one five here and we have one seven there. So our common denominator, we're gonna build it, is two squared times three squared times five times seven. So what's that? That's four times nine times five times seven, which is 1260. Okay, we're gonna use this technique when we go to our next section where we add and subtract den uh, fractions and we have to build this common denominator by using this method. Okay, go to the next video now.